Okay. Um, I found out the discovery is in the South Ocean. So, huzzah. Now I just need to get... Oh, and that floating rock right there is one of the discoveries. In case you were wondering. Fish? No! I'm sorry. Um, I really wish I had a white map. Uh, everyone's dying. And as much as I would love to just run from these fights, I can't. So just enjoy them being adorable. Stop. Oh, well, at least they weren't attacking Fina. I spoke too soon. Yeah, you better run. Okay. Hopefully, I can run into. Yeah, I just need to heal after the battle. Ha. Ah. So, yeah, I will do that. Oh, you buggers. Anyway, there's only like three discoveries in the South Ocean, so... Wasn't that hard. So really annoying, though. Is it over already? The sky in Emini that I found is actually something Domingo was looking for. You remember him, right? Butthead with the ponytail. Anyway, we have learned a lot of magic while I've been running around South Ocean. Um, we got Eterni. Curia, Wicca, um, I don't even know. We learned so much magic because we've been in so many fights. Because South Ocean sucks. And hopefully, Drop Mom won't miss. Thank you. Like, every time the, he misses. Give you such good XP. Stupid. That does nothing, I'm 90% sure. <sighs> Come on, you guys, I'm with the XP. Don't get me wrong. He's just bad at hitting things. Ugh. 
we did. We did it! Now let's get out of South Ocean. Anyway, there's the other discovery I found. <gasps> Okay, new enemies, guys! E-loopers! <laughs> Do you have a big wedding? No, we e-loopered. I should not have done that, and I apologize. It wasn't even funny. Here go. They run a lot. Yeah. No, it's guarding. Over there. Ah! Not supposed to race. Your one job is to hit things. Huh? It really isn't very helpful when there's only like two enemies on the field. But whatever. Oh yeah, it is so tough. Oh, oh, oh. This is probably gonna be the last episode I do today. Because I'm tired. That was fun! And I've done like eight episodes already. Into some more battles! Because that's what we do. You know, I said I'd get through South Ocean without you guys, but. Well, I found Discovery, so I thought I'd let you know. Kama <sighs> Rock is the worst one to get, because it's moving, so you're chasing it while you're also fighting the wind. What does that do? Okay, even when it doesn't miss, it does nothing. I'm gonna Google what that does, you guys. Yes, does anyone know? Like N E one. Okay, so the no one knows what it does. The theory is that it's them missing with magic, which I didn't know could happen, but there you have it. Delta Shield is pretty. Dick. Oh, right. Cast Delta Shield. It doesn't work! Oh, screw you. Mm. You're all dead. Except you. Good job, Fina. I really want to yell at my dog to shut up. It's not my dog, it's my sister's dog. That was easy. Yeah. Almost out. Almost out. Okay. I'm out.
Uh, of course. Because nothing is ever easy. Darkman needs to heal, but I need him to focus for me. I was really thinking hard. Oh, yes. Good job, Drachma. I take back every mean thing I've ever said about you. before, but no one knows about this game. At least, no one where I live. They're always like, hey, you guys know the best game ever? And I'm like, what? I'm like, Skies of Arcadia, and they're like, oh, I don't know what that is. And I'm like, well, you suck. Get educated. Yeah! 20. blowing in the wind. Which means we're close to land. We finally made it across South Ocean. Yes, finally. Took me like 30 minutes. Most people on this world do not even know that a continent exists across South Ocean. The discovery of this lush, rich continent with a long history has demonstrated the possibility that even more unknown, undiscovered lands may await. <gasps> I'm sure these leaves came from Ixetaka. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that right, guys. Under the light of the green moon, ever since ancient times, the lands of Ixetaka have been covered in lush forests. The life-giving green moon has blessed these lands with fertility. Less lands, huh? Time for another one of Ika's imagination sequences. If that's true, I'm sure there are all kinds of delicious things to eat there. I can see it now. Piles and piles of fruits and vegetables of all different shapes, sizes, colors, and tastes. I bet there are just as many carnivorous monsters roaming around the woods, too. Preying upon unsuspecting fools who sit there, stuffing their faces with fruit. Hey, you don't have to crush my hopes like that. If Ika was hungry enough, she'd probably eat the monsters, too. Guys, look what you did! Now you've got Fina doing it! Hi. Oh, I... I'm sorry. I didn't mean any harm. Get to your posts! Get ready to drop anchor! On what? No sense that we have an anchor. Okay, anyway. We're out of South Ocean! Time to find discoveries, guys! Because I hate following the plot. And then there's more enemies. Hopefully- Oh yes, it is something new. Hooray for me! Let's... Heal... Pinalisk. Or pinalisk, I guess. It's like pineapple. Let's try this! Gosh, Dragna, you have so much HP. Move! Give me strength! That did nothing. Oh, it killed the birds. Okay. 
Vice hates his fruits. Yeah, because they did absolutely nothing to us. Right. Oh yeah, I'm gonna stop recording soon. I don't feel too great. Anyway, first discovery is around here somewhere. Yep, there it is. You have found the Ixaness village, a tribe of women that lives on a small island in Ixataka. They are skilled and fearsome warriors. They raid nearby villages twice a year to kidnap men. The numbers of men in nearby tribes have been reduced, almost reduced to nothing. Exciting. Lovely people. You know, kidnapping and such little battle. Oh, oh my gosh. Dogs have like destroyed our backyard. Okay, anyway, we should be able to kill them without magic. Yeah, those birds seem pretty weak. Oh man, my stomach hurts so bad. What's wrong with me? Oh, this episode's probably gonna be kinda long. I'm gonna try and find all the discoveries in Ixataka where you guys are here to see where they are. Ha! You missed. Stupid fire breathing thing. And then Vi's missed. Cause that's how life works. Everyone misses. Thank you. How? Okay, whatever, I'm not gonna question it. Yes, it was. That was easy. So you know what I think is interesting? Like, I was watching some like a few different people playing Fallout New Vegas, and like they're always like, what does fit as a fiddle mean? But it's like it just means you're, like, in good health, and I guess it's just a southern thing to say, but... Eh. Okay, um, there should be a discovery around here somewhere. <sighs> but yeah, fit as a fiddle. And bless your heart. Sometimes that means you're stupid. Which I love. Because people think it's just, you know, being nice, but nope! Yeah, Langries! Yeah, this episode's gonna be really long! But I'm killing things, yeah. so I don't care. So, and everyone's like all excited about the Fifty Shades of Grey movie. We did it. I don't get it. I abhor that movie and the book. I think it's stupid and like people are letting their 13 year olds watch it. It's like, that's kind of messed up. Okay, the great bird. The wings and tail of the great bird are said to indicate the equinoxes of the ancient Ixitakan bird lunar calendar. Figures of other animals once dotted the plain, but they have been swallowed by the expanding forest, leaving only the bird. Hmm. Hey, Ika, do you see something glittering on the ground right where the eye of that bird would be? Hey, you're right. Let me go down and see what it is. Hey, guys, I found something. There's a gem stuck in the ground. I'm sure they won't miss a little itty-bitty gem, would they? Okay, we got the great bird's eye. Besides, who knows when a nice little gem like this will come in handy. How right you are! Okay. Anyway. There's a dude there. He is a merchant. But he sells or buys discovery information. What is that?
Oh, I bought. Oops. I was like, what did I find? He's heard rumors of the existence of Ixataka, where he is currently living. I don't know how people have missed these things. Well, let's see what he has for sale. Ooh! So I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, okay. Promise I'm not gonna buy anything else. Yeah, well, I've I will find it first. Okay, um, Is... Okay, there's that. Oh, fine, dick. I don't remember. There's the gray bird. Um, so the golden man should be around here somewhere. That's a lovely noise. Seriously. Uh, oh, there it is. A golden statue that stands quietly, as if pointing something out. It is thought to have been placed here to protect sacred land. Male statues are often found in temples and other buildings, while female statues are found near holy lakes and trees. That's interesting. What's this? There's something set into the statue's eye socket. Golden man's eye. Hey, no one will notice if it's missing, right? And besides, we're air pirates. Can you really blame us for taking a little bit of treasure? Okay, um, I'm just gonna go find... One more discovery. Well, like, two more. I think I might have to move 
the story along to find the palace. <laughs> so we're just gonna move on with our lives. Just check here. Yeah, okay. I am assuming that we have to progress the story. So, I'm gonna go find one more thing. Then I'm gonna land, and that'll be it for today. I know it's under here somewhere. It's like 90% sure it's under there. Um, just... Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, that was awesome. Oh, did you just shake your thingy at me? It's very inappropriate. That's what you get. Oh, Dragma. Button mashing. Oh. I got him. No. Wasting my life. Hey, don't you heal it. Okay. Die, you pineapple monster. Oh, I could use some food. Okay. Learning so much magic. Where is it? We need to go down a little bit. There we go. A vine plant that hangs from the bottom of the continent. Its stem contains a powerful hallucinogen, and it has been used for medicinal and religious purposes through the ages. It is also commonly used in local delicacies. Okay. I'm gonna go sell the stuff to that guy, and I will see you guys when I see you. Bye-bye!